Hi, hello everyone. My name is Kita, aka Kita Palooza, and welcome to Simfluence. Simfluence is a monthly series where I take design inspiration from some of my favorite home and DIY content creators, decorators, influencers, and I recreate a room in their style in The Sims. If you've been following the series so far, you've seen the tour of my childhood home. You've seen the first room that we've made over, which was the guest room, which is my old room. And now we're kind of moving through the floor plan and we're moving into the living room. This month, we're designing the living room in the fashion of one of my favorite content creators, Tina Doodles. Tina is a home and DIY creator whose design style and content always feels airy, clean, bright, so many neutrals, so much space and natural light and everything that she does it always makes me want to just open up my blinds you know i was watching a video the other night where she got linen curtains and the lights like still shone through so pretty and i was like now i need linen curtains you know now i need linen curtains another cool thing that she's done is she's also recently started a design studio with her husband called studio calm where they sell lovely prints and stuff to make your home feel peaceful Make your home feel nice and calm and good and rejuvenating. So you should definitely check that out too if you're interested. I'm choosing to do the living room in her style because honestly, I feel like it's a more modern touch of what my mom might have chosen for herself. In my living room, there were a lot of greens, a lot of browns, just a lot of neutral colors. And I think that a lot of Tina's design choices and the way she styles things, I think my mom would really appreciate. I feel like the living room is a perfect canvas for us to test this out and see if it brings the, the, the space together. Also, if you wanna catch the rest of this series, please go ahead and subscribe. I plan on releasing a Simfluence episode every month with a new designer, and maybe next month will be somebody that you recognize. I would love to have you here on this makeover journey and see how this series evolves. We've just begun and I'm already having a ton of fun creating and styling and redesigning and using the tools that I've got at my disposal. So let's dive on in. Let's get influenced. <laughs> Alright, so we are back at the Palooza household where we are gonna get our living room on. So here we are. Here is our living room. If you want to see how the guest room turned out, you're going to have to go back and watch the other video because I'm not going to give a full reveal until we are done completely remodeling the house. Like I said before in a previous video, this is using honestly a lot of creative liberty. I've been doing some thinking as I have been working with this project with the save file. And yeah, the living room might be a little bit bigger than what it was in real life and honestly not by much. Like this is purely working within the parameters that I had and trying to make things like as close to accurate as possible. Imagination. Imagination. Let it run wild, right? What I'm thinking is this living room does not get a ton of natural light. It did in my home, but this is The Sims. But maybe we just need to have some more ambient lighting in here to make it really pop, right? So my mother loves plants. Oh, she loves plants. I also love plants. I'm trying to get better at taking care of my babies. But then my cat babies try to eat my plant babies. And I'm like, no, don't disrespect nature like that. Even though I know you're a cat, you see grass and you're like, nom, nom, nom. No. So now they're on the highest shelf possible where they cannot get it. And so, yeah, my mom didn't have to deal with cats. I do. So I have to get cat friendly plants. I may go ahead and get a snake plant and just because I love snake plants. They're impossible to kill. They look really, really cute. Maybe I'll just keep the snake plant in a tall place where they can't get it. But back to the build. <laughs> and this is just for nostalgia's sake, this toy chest here. Um, there used to be like a fish tank here. And it was like a really cool fish tank with like toys underneath it. Another thing that I had was like a little play table where I can sit and eat my food, like a little kid's table, right? So I can see how proportionately this is a little weird, but we can take some creative freedom, I think, and just kind of transform this space into something 
that I think would be a really cool upgrade from that, you know, old school 90s apartment and then make it more 2000s or like 2020s. Let's start by taking everything the fuck out of here. Time's up, girl. Bye. Mama might get some new plants, so we're just gonna sell it all. Sell it all. And I know I talk really heavily about my mama, but you know, she worked really hard. I feel like this is like a really fun way for me personally to honor her and my first home. I'm gonna keep these on the wall because they represent other important little family things. Yeah, this build is a lot bigger now that I'm like actually emptying the space. I think one thing that I want to practice while I'm playing The Sims and, and learning more about it is just like spatial awareness, I guess, when building homes. Cause this is like a massive living room, I feel like. Already, I think we started off this space with a fresh coat of white paint. We know that white brightens up a space a lot, but I'm wondering if we try, mm, I wouldn't go that green. I wonder if there's like a muted green that we can use. Ooh, honestly, I don't hate that. And I feel like I've seen, maybe it was uh, Tina's recent video where she, painted her, I want to say her new bedroom in her new house. This feels more minty than what she used, but I still think it's gorgeous. I don't know if I want to do the whole house in this though. Actually, okay, see where the lights are? This is actually a beautiful color. I wish it was a little sagier. This is a personal thing. I'm not an overhead light queen. I am a lamp girly. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. But I literally hate overhead lights. And the only time I use overhead lights are in the kitchen because I have to see what I'm doing. I think we're gonna add not just an overhead light, but we are also just gonna like add some more lighting to give it more ambiance, I think. I really want, again, that really airy, neutral kind of feel in this room. So I think what I'm gonna focus on is because I made the walls this nice sage green color and you know, like flashback to the carpet that I used to have down, like the carpet in my childhood home was green. And I think taking that green and putting it on the walls and then letting the rest of the space be those neutral colors, I feel like that'd be really pretty. If you're tracking with what I'm saying, let me know in the comments. So we had a TV in here. We had a couch. We also need to make a workspace. I think I want to make a dining room experience also in the living room because my kitchen, like I said, we're using Creative Liberties here. My kitchen was not a eat-in kitchen. Like we had a table in there, but it was pretty small. So I think making a separate dining room experience could be really nice. So that way it could be an entertainment space and also a hosting space, which is something that I'm actually trying to go for in my own apartment. Something that I wanna focus on is how do we want this layout to look? We're probably gonna try a couple different things, but my gut right now is telling me that I want to put the TV and bookshelves along this wall kind of have like a floating couch situation. And since the kitchen's right here, we don't have to go very far if we do kind of like a off to the side dining room thing and really just cover the place in plants. If we hate that, we can rearrange it, but I'm gonna go ahead and call that that might be our first experiment, I guess. So let's dive into it. Well, looking at the budget we have, I think at least in The Sims, we can afford a flat screen TV that we can mount on the wall. I think TV placement is pretty important because that also lays out how you're gonna do everything else. I feel like in a space, you know, that dictates where your couches are gonna be. And then based on where the couches are gonna be, where's the dining table gonna fit in? How big of a dining table can we use, right? The kitchen's gonna be a completely separate episode, but I might pull the chairs and table that we have in the kitchen and just call it that, right? We'll see, we'll see what happens. So we're gonna go dive in right now and we're gonna get ourselves a nice old TV. 
I wish we could do like a nice wood framed TV. God, I would love to gift my mom a frame. I have a frame TV and I love it. And I feel, mm, do people buy TVs in white though? No, we, 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 we have black TVs. I'm using the dream decorator pack a ton. And I also feel like she might opt for something in this family as well when it comes to a console table. So we've got three options here. I wanna call this option one, option two, option three. Okay, I already know which one I wanna pick. I'm gonna give you five seconds to see if we get it right. Which one am I gonna pick? Why did I do that? One. Okay, I like this one a lot. I like how much storage it has. Not to say that like, you know, these kind of have the same amount, but I like, this feels very angular. I'm personally more of a rounded edge person, but I think when thinking of the combination of my mom and what I feel like I've seen Tina create and do, feels really nice. And I think another thing that might happen is there might be some symmetry going on, at least with what I have in my head. And in that case, that's not a bad second option. We'll come back to, I'm gonna place an inventory, we'll see. Something that we did have were these beautiful like glass cabinets. Okay, so they don't have the glass cabinets, but they do have bookshelves. And that is something that we were thinking about implementing in the first place. And I feel like a nice cozy bookshelf that feels adult, that feels modern. I feel like my mom might go for like the more old school pieces, but I'm here, I'm taking the reins. We're gonna update it a little bit. Let's see, that's huge. We're not using that. I mean, the mega bookcase is something. The mega bookcase is something. I feel like there's some things left to be desired when it comes to bookcases in The Sims. This is huge. I feel like my my days for not using CC are numbered um, because there's only so much that I can choose. Oh, that connects really well. What if we just made my mom a console? I feel like that would be really cool. Like if you went to Ikea, right? And you were like, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna build myself like a little storage console. I feel like that would be sick. And then we can put some like some of those plants that we were talking about in here. We can really decorate the top of this shelf and these shelves as well. I think this would be really fun. And something else that I kind of am feeling is some sort of statement piece or statement painting either behind the TV or on top. I don't know what we have to do that. I feel like a nice pop of orange or something like that would be really nice here. So what I was thinking of doing right now is maybe getting some sconces to go above the bookshelves or at least like next to them. Or maybe we can get some lamps that can go like in these little shelves right here. Let's see what our options are first. Got a blissful night light. Oh, the vintage sconces that we use in the bedroom. Oh, so good. And it could be a really cool carry through to keep the continuity throughout the house, which, you know, it, it brings me up to another point. The reason I picked the people that I am remaking this home with is because though they all have like nuances that make their styles different, I feel like they're very cohesive together. And so I could totally see Tina Doodles using this sconce. And I could also see Alexandra Gator using the sconce too, right? Because I mean, we all shop at Ikea. We all shop at the same places. It's just how do we use these same items in different ways to make it stand out? Oh, this, and it already feels a little brighter in here. I don't know if I love the lights right there, but I know that I want to get started with some sort of rug situation. This is already feeling so cool and i'm also like imagining it in my head like what would it look like to actually do this in that apartment and ah oh, man it would be sick it would be so sick Ooh, what if do you think we should make it the whole wall because if there is extra storage that could be used 
Oh. Sometimes I just stop talking because I have an idea and I need to test it out. But hear me out, okay? Hear me out. We said we need a workspace here, right? Let's pretend that my mom Marie kondo all her stuff. What if we did a built-in desk situation in this console? Right? Are you, are you, do you, like, are we on the same page? Because I feel like that'd be really cool if I can pull it off. So let's see. And if not, we'll go back. But I just think there's so much wall space. So let's go to study. We'll pick out a desk. I feel like if we can get one of the tiny living desks to fit right in here and we can use, you know, this console as a direct light. Oh man. I mean, here's the thing, right? Like this is an option. I feel like well, this is what I was talking about before, right? Let's say we put the sconces back where they were. We can move the bookshelves back in so they snap. I don't know if this, oh, it wouldn't fit. But like, you see what I mean? We're like, okay, like maybe that would be cool and you get some of that natural light, right? But this desk is like way too big. So we're gonna sell that. See if we, what would happen if we took it all the way to the, mm. oh, you know what? We didn't put on our best friend. Who's our best friend? Baby. Dot move objects, baby. Always forget move objects is a thing. Okay, so now we can like not make it obnoxious and like clip into the wall, right? Um, so let's see, I don't hate that. You know what I do hate? This one going into the wall. I do hate this one not even going into the wall. I hate it going into the window. To the window! To the window! To the wall! To the wall! It doesn't fit seamlessly. I feel like if it felt seamless, it would look better. Okay, hold on. Do it in this like nice neutral. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like it. I really, really, really like this console idea, but we're gonna look at the inspo one more time. There's lots of natural wood, as you can see, creams. There's gonna be a lot of cream colored things that are coming into play, which is also why I chose the white and more neutral colored wood for our decoration choices. It's an experiment. One of my really good friends said, you just move things around forever and ever until you get it right. So I'm gonna leave this situation as is. So what I think I wanna do is I wanna figure out a rug that fills the space. And like I said, I was thinking of a cream rug. We do have this lovely circular rug that I use in a lot of my builds, but I wish it just filled the space a little more. Let's see what other options we have though. I feel like something patterned could be really fun. We've got some neutral patterned stuff. This one, I don't think. Uh, it looks kind of scratchy. I don't, like I'd like using that when I need to cover a floor, but it doesn't feel right for this. Ooh, but we do have an uh, antique rug. I've got to see where this comes from. Ooh, this is actually pretty bold. It does have, I feel like at least with like the way the window pane is like a dark brown and, and the tones in this work really well, personally. Let's see what else we've got here. This is called the Antique Rug of Mysterious Origin. And if I'm seeing that correctly, I believe it's from the Parenthood, but I will have all the names of the packs that I used in the description. So if you're curious about specific pieces, you can look it up yourself. I'm like actually a little stuck. I'm trying my best with what I have to do the justice of the designers and the content creators. And the options that I have for like specific things, at least in the Sims and in the packs that they sell, aren't cutting it for me. I think it's time. It's time! And as in, it's not gonna happen in this video. 
Maybe I'll do a video on me perusing through CC and actually trying it out. If y'all are interested in that, let me know. So we have that as an option. We also have our babe, the cream circle rug that we can make bigger, to fill a little bit more of the space. My gut's telling me to try this one and get a little bit more color in the space, especially if we're gonna be using a lot more neutrals. So we're gonna sell this for now. And honestly, it matches up with the console and the space so perfectly. Ooh, okay, this gives us a little bit more space. Let's get a couch in here. So we're definitely gonna go with a cream colored couch. And we're gonna go with the big boy. I need a big boy, give me a big boy. Ooh, this is cute. Ooh, the Prime Lux plush sofa. And we can get it in a variety of cream colors or neutral colors. And I feel like if we do a nice like camel-ish color, hmm, I feel like that might be a little too much. Let's see though. Let's swatch it and see what other colors we've got. Oh man, that pops really nicely. This pops too. This is nice but I'm leaning towards the lighter one. I think it's a nice like marriage between kind of this strip right here. And also I think it's a nice combination of like the color scheme we've got going here. And I could also totally see Tina using a couch like this because it's spacious, it looks soft. It's very like elegantly simple. You know, but still with the modern twist with that nice hard wooden back, which match actually pretty well the darker notes of the inside of the windows, because I know that the windows make it feel really dark in here. So at least having that darker element on the back with a pop of that brightness that kind of leads you into this side of the apartment, I think is really cool. Let's look at accent tables because I, then I feel like we can just put an accent table here, put an accent table here, may do away with the sconces and get some lamp action going. We've got a lot of options here, right? And we're gonna, we're gonna lay them out here. I think number one, this end table, I think this is base game, can be very cute. Let's see what other color options we have. The white is a little too white, I feel like, with the cream of this couch. I'm just gonna test it out real quick and see. Wait, hold on. Hold on. That's actually a really nice couch color. Ooh, tell me which one y'all would pick. Would you pick this more white option or would you pick this? But I like that it has the white pillows. Take everything that I just said and apply it to the pillows and this color. This feels nicer to me. This feels warmer. And now let's take a second look over here. Now that feels better, honestly. So let's just test it. See, we put it right here. Let's see what else we've got. The desert's end table could also be really fun. And you know what? I feel like I could see, I know it just looks like a cube, but I feel like I could see Tina recreating something like this because she's actually very handy. Like she has like a whole workshop and everything where she does a ton of DIYs. And if you're a DIY person, I highly, highly implore you to check out her channel because you will absolutely leave feeling inspired. I know that I can't do half of the stuff that she does, but I still watch it anyway for just inspiration. I feel like this is a little too big for the living room, a little too high. This is also pretty fun. Ooh. I don't know why the end tables are so high. Are they really that high? I feel like this, little one here makes more sense to me. We're gonna move it in a little bit. What do y'all think? I feel like this little one feels more doable. That might be a personal style choice, but I mean, I guess if you're like sunk in to the couch and you're having a good time, you don't want like your drink to be too low, I guess. 
Here's the third question. Do we even need a side table? We're gonna move these over here and we're gonna feel these out by the time that we've got the living room situation put together. Ah, this Tina was just talking about in one of her videos, how much she loves the paper lantern movement that's happening right now. And so we do have a snowball pendant lamp, which could be a really cool middle piece. Ooh, maybe we can use that orange to kind of, um, Oh, yes. Hold on. Let's put these in the inventory for now. But I feel like using this orange to kind of tie the rug together. I think the closest that we have to a standing version of that paper lamp. Yeah, I don't like the base. Let's pretend we took that light off. Look at how cozy and comfortable this is, but this is still like such a cool statement piece. You know, when you look up at it and you're like, oh, well, look, it's a paper lantern. I love that. I think that's so much fun. And I think it's a really nice way to bring in the more burnt oranges that we've got here in this rug. I see it. I think it's just pulling itself together naturally, which makes me happy. Oh, and we've got some plant stuff actually in our inventory. Whoops, my bad. So let's put some stuff that we have actually in inventory. And you know what? This dining chair, this di I don't know when we put this in inventory, but this dining chair would make such a good, these could be really cute dining chairs for the dining area. I'm still deciding on these side tables. Something about this one being a little lower feels a bit more approachable to me because I feel like I don't want to clutter this front situation right now, which is a hard thing I feel like with floating couches, especially if you're going to use your living space for more than just sitting and watching TV, right? I also am curious about the desk situation that we had out here before. I mean, my mom isn't really doing like work at the computer like she used to, but I think honestly, in every Sims game, everybody has a computer set up and then everybody comes over and they all wanna play in your computer and you're like, cool, I thought you wanted to spend time with me, but turns out you just wanna use me for my internet. Go home, use your own internet. Stop coming to my house just to use my computer and not talking to me, Bob Pancakes. Bob Pancakes doesn't actually come over to my house, but I'm sure that he would. Steal my internet, you too, Eliza. I don't know why I don't like them. I just always pick fights with them in games. Oh my God. I'm really digging how this is turning out so far. Let's figure out the dining situation. I know we said we're gonna do the kitchen in another episode, right? Here's the, the, the door to the guest room. Right, we're not gonna, we're not, you're gonna have to go back, watch another video to see how we did that one. Please subscribe. <laughs> but I, I'm curious as to if we should keep this in here or not. And I'm gonna bring it out here to show you what I would do. And I think my mom probably wouldn't entertain like a ton of people, but at least we would still have the dining room here, right? Let's use the couch as kind of like a line of demarcation between zones. So we've got the living room zone right here. This would be the dining table. But I feel like if we kind of had like a dining room floating area, I feel like it would also be really pretty if you walk in from the entryway and you saw this really nice dining table set up, right? So we're gonna move it back a little bit. And okay, now that we've moved it away from the couch, I think we can do this and then we can add two more chairs to make it six and we can make it nice and cute and really cozy in here. Okay, cool. So this is going in. We're going to keep the bowl of fruit. We're going to use it again. We don't like these. We don't like this. The table's actually pretty nice and simple. We can find us a more stylish one. Love all the stuff that comes from the snowy escape pack. Honestly, I love that furniture, but Tabley McTable face, we meet again, huh, bud? This, uh, <laughs> there's a whole thing about Tabley McTable face in one of my older YouTube videos. 
do we like tabley mctable face do we Ooh, sorry like i said the snowy escape stuff is just by tabley this is just so chic oh it's so cool oh man okay let's get some swatches going but this is such a beautiful table Mmm, I wish this was a little dark. Ooh. Oh, okay, there's a lot of different wood tones happening here. If we take away the end tables, right? I'm gonna sell them. This feels better. Comment if you agree. These wood types that I'm seeing are all kind of like a gradient of each other. Like they like the 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 wood is all the same spectrum. But there's like warmer, cooler. And I also feel like that is a style of table that Tina would pick. There's another one that caught my eye. This is quite long. Kind of does the same thing with the grain situation I was talking about. Let's see what colors you... That's what I was fucking looking for. That's literally what I was looking for. I wish this table came in this color. I mean, that's close, but something feels cool about this one, about how long it is. And I feel like it fills the space up really nicely. But are people like super far away? Do we really have this many guests? Do we need this big of a table? I think it's nice to have a longer table, but we're not hosting like a full Thanksgiving dinner here. Thinking, 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 thinking hard. I think we're gonna use a shorter table. I think it's a better use of space. I'm gonna put the table in the inventory though, because I really wanna see, explore what we can do with a workstation. So remember those chairs I pulled out earlier from inventory that I didn't even realize I had? So we are between this one. Oh, I know why we had them because I was testing them out in the guest room. I think that, first of all, these chairs are more hip friendly. I'm a big girl, you know, got some big girl friends. You know, if we ever come over to visit or something, you know, shoving myself into a chair like this, not the most uncomfortable, but not like the most comfortable either. So I'm also trying to think in terms of like just different bodies and accessibility, because you should always Consider different bodies and abilities in your design work. I don't care who you are. You never know what kind of friends you're gonna make. You never know what kind of people you're gonna meet. And you never know what kind of accommodations you're gonna need. Can something as simple as a seating choice make a difference to somebody's world? Absolutely. If I go to your house and I see that you actually have chairs that are comfortable for me to sit in, that I don't feel like I'm gonna fall into, I don't feel like I'm gonna accidentally break, I don't know how, you long, how long you've had your furniture for, or just feels frail, but nobody wants to see their friends feel uncomfortable. So I'm gonna make sure there's seating that's comfy. And I think, yes, that is a very nice color. And of course, in terms of like accessibility, yeah. And also I don't think we need six. I think what's throwing me is because the legs, my legs would continuously be hitting this every time I wanted to eat, especially if I was spaced out and had somebody sitting next to me. Just for that alone, I, um, God. Loading fruit. Oh, holy fruit. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and pull out that longer table, huh? Yeah, yeah. Let's see if we've got any other table decorations we can put in the center that feel really cool. Eh. Is it black? No. That's kind of nice. It's a step up from a fruit bowl. Ooh, and they've got some nice cute wood accents. Can we just put it straight? I'm not straight, but I would like to see the foot bowl, the food. I would like to see the fruit bowl straight. I swear, these braces and also just my brain. <laughs> I do like this. I feel like this is cute, but everything feels very stacked. And I don't know how much I like that. It's something in my soul is telling me that we shouldn't put a workspace out here. 
two reasons. One, mom is retiring. Stop. <laughs> use your laptop, use your iPad, chill. I also don't need the computer set up anymore because I don't live here. Number two, I also have an idea of where the setup can go if we do not have it in the living room. Or we could put it right here under this window. I wonder if we put like a nice simple table under here. So of course we've already got the dream home decorator, which this would naturally match everything here. Okay, this doesn't look as bad as I thought. Okay, so we've got like a smaller table. This is also a table I was considering will take up a little bit more of that window space. Let's see. But it does look like a genuine like work work table. You could put a little bit of storage in and use that's not a bad choice either. And I think if I'm like leaning towards this one, it's a little smaller. And I feel like if we needed to add something right here, we could put some plants right here. It would make sense. You know, it wouldn't feel cramped at all. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go with this. And then I think this is when we can pull out a comfier looking chair that can double as both a desk chair and a living room chair that you can easily turn around when you had more people over. But I know we have like a ton of seating already, but just one more. It's, it's chair city. Chair city, bitch. Chair, chair city. Chaise magnifique goes great so cool and i think i'm going to put a little laptop for my mommy you know the funny thing is i feel like y'all are probably thinking damn this bitch is a mama's girl when i like i am but i'm not and that's as far as i'm gonna go with that but at like just because you know we don't always see eye to eye but that doesn't mean that i don't want to give her the best you know boundaries definitely included I'm gonna pretend like I have the money to treat my mom because that's what I would like to do one day. For the sake of the aesthetic, I'm gonna give her a new white one. There we go, there you go. I think with the basic layout, I don't hate this. I think that this is a little bit more cramped than what Tina might do. I've, I know I haven't spoken a ton about her, but I'm just kind of going, based off of the inspo pictures I've pulled, based on like, I guess my knowledge of my mom, you know, and based on my knowledge of the space, I feel like this would be really cute. And I feel like this translates really well. All right, so what I think we're gonna go for now is we're gonna go and get a nice plant wall in. Look at the beautiful windows that we have to work with. We have so much natural light. I think it would be a really good idea to get some plants in here. Let's look at what shelving we have. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> oh, yes. Ooh, yes. I feel like that's a nice muted natural wood. Are those, is that like lighting under there? Ah, so fancy. That's from the new kitchen pack. I think it's like the chef hustle. Because this is going to be the centerpiece for our plants. And then I think I wanna get like a nice, kinda like console table. A nice sleek potentially. Mm. Ooh, and all the things table. That's a cool storage piece and it actually matches that pretty well. Let's see what, that matches that pretty well. Let's see what other swatches we have. But I like it matching, honestly. I think the pops of color are subtle, but break it up just enough. And I'm not sure if this living room is too crowded, but I personally am more of a maximalist person. So a lot of my influence is also bleeding through the designer's influence as well. But I feel like there's like a ton of space to like walk around-ish. Is there though, Kita, is there? Hmm. I feel like I'm overthinking it and I tend to do that. So I'm just going to keep going with my gut. So we're going to get some smallies. And we're just going to start. Oh, that'd be so pretty. Get some height up there. 
think I would also probably, I'm kind of just placing as I see them. Ah, you know I love me. And Alexandra loves her fiddly fig. This is not Alexandra's episode. I think just so much of my design inspo comes from her that I'm just like, ooh, ooh. But I feel like Tina would also like a fiddly fig. 40 minutes earlier. Where is that hanging plant I just saw? Hello. Very pretty. And we can have two of two separate sizes, I feel like. We could just make it a little shorter by pressing shift bracket. Here, let's see if we can like rotate it a bit, make it feel like a little different so it's not exactly the same. My mom would totally have like a little centerpiece like this. Got some succulents there. That's really cute. Of course, we should decorate some in here so we don't have them all in one place. Oh, is that too big to fit? Oh, that's, oh, I see what's happening here. You know what, it's really cute. I feel like it's a little cheesy. I don't know if my mom would like it, but I think it's really cute. Oh yeah, we've got some like some trimmings up there. Oh, and of course my baby, the snake plant. Oh, this is cute. Let's put this like along this wall. Yeah, so more propagation happening over there. Oh my God, you could put the baskets. <gasps> Oh, so cute. Let's just pretend like these are different, like little storage. Oh, I love this. Mm. And there we've got those little pops of red again. We're gonna put a nice little chess set, games just in case. Rosy reflections. Oh, that's cute. Shall we do some finishing touches on the walls and then call it an episode? I think we can. All right, let's get into it. We've got a very nice art piece that's very studio calm. Let's get some smaller pieces in here. Got a beautiful gallery wall going. Yeah, now this is nice. Honestly, I think this is beautiful. I think we've landed in a really solid spot. I could see a Tina makeover for at least specifically the living room part. Like the part that's the actual like, sit on the couch, watch TV get a book, you know, like for that part, I can actually see her creating something like this. The rest of it was mostly me fitting in the other things, but tell me what you think based on like the inspiration photos, based on what I've explained and showed you. How do you think I did? Let me know in the comments below. And now it is time to reveal the final living room done in the style of Tina Doodles. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, look how cool this is. Oh. Damn. Hello, the read. I mean, hey, I like compliments, but I'm not self-absorbed. Sims. <laughs> so, how do you think I did? Please let me know. Also, let me know what you think of this series. Who would you want to see featured? Let me know in the comments below. If you are excited and you want to see more of Simfluence, please go ahead and hit subscribe. We'll be doing this series monthly. And if you like lifestyle, somewhat home decor, gaming content, you know where to find me right here, Keto Palooza and also Keto Palooza on all of my other social channels. Thank you so much for being here and mwah, have a happy month. We'll see y'all next time.